Oh my god, I'm sitting here about squirt because of... this is DJ Whitey. Here, <clears throat> but this is my turn, and there's a huge hill. It's all iced over across the back roads. <laughs> so, even on Peavey, we're on the main road. No traffic at all. 2, 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Great time to be out here without the, without the law. All up in your bizwax, you know? So, hmm. We have to drive safely. <laughs> Because there's a lot of um, pedestrians, you know, crossing. And cars coming. Watch this. See? We watch. Watch them. Watch them. Watch how safely they drive. Safely. On through the wilderness of life. Okay. Here we go. Be safe. This is a January Tennessee weather here on Peavy Road. There he is, man. So maybe he's, I don't know what he's doing, but that looks like a big cliff over here. That's just a medium. So all this room, man. It's crazy. Huh. What can a man do with all this room, I wonder? Man, all over the road now. Oh, <laughs> what's he doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Woo hoo. Be fine. <laughs> doing that out here. On Be Vine Road. Like a wild man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mini Cooper stuff! <laughs> crazy! This dude's crazy! What's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah! You're not gonna easily <laughs> added the music. Must drive safely out here <laughs> on these uh, icy roads <laughs> and be very careful. <laughs> Better watch those who are watching you. <laughs> get there before they get you. <laughs> watch them as they watch you. <laughs> Laugh at them behind, <laughs> being between the curtains, in between the days of the past the shadow of time. <laughs> In the moon's crest, <laughs> I see, uh, opens his eyes up and <laughs> gathers a view <laughs> of God's wonderful creation through Christ Jesus Christ our Lord. Acts 2 38. Obey. And why not, man? It ain't won't kill you. Just read the scripture, Acts 2 38, and do what it says and see what happens. And the promise will be unto you and to your children, and to as many as will call upon the name of Christ to be their Lord. Hmm. So who is this? It, it's not me. I'm getting out of the way. This is about who? Yeshua. 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 Precious blood. For your atoning my sins, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you so much, God, and I will give you the glory and the honor. And I'm so thankful, Lord, that I just know this is all temporary. This is just stuff. Who cares about me, 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 my ministry, me? Look what I'm doing. What can I do? do, do, do. Or do, do. So just ordinary compassion and love and then let it develop into divine empathy and love and compassion as you seek the Holy Ghost that will lead and guide you to all truth and it will make you realize that every scripture points to Acts 238 
Once I realized that, I realized that, wow, this Father, Son, Holy Ghost thing, that's that's Christ, Jesus Christ. That's Christ. And Jesus came. And he came as the Father robed himself in the flesh, took upon the form of the servant, the great I am, the first and the last beginning and end. He said, I bless thee and make thee a minister. And he said, he's coming soon. He wants me to spread the message. Guess what? Huh. He wants you to spread the message. You know? Um, just are you out showing love? Are you out making a difference? Are you showing compassion? Come out of the store, or you just bought you a um, big pizza with everything on it, you know? And then you see a homeless man, what what do you do? Huh. What do you do? What do you do at that time? <coughs> My question. That's what I'm gonna ask you. Sincerely. What do you do at that time? Well, me personally, I wanna get out of the way. The only way I can get out of the way is let the Spirit guide and lead and move me. And let's see, who's it about? Life's about who? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the beginning and end, the author and the finisher of our faith. Okay. Oh gosh, man, you ain't got a Bible open. Well, if the Word is in you, it dwells among you, and if you're a vessel then you're not a reverend or a preacher because you're realizing that hey wow you know he's the preacher he's he's the one I'm just what oh, what am I a vessel a voice by a channel of God's blessings to the world and once we get out of ourselves and realize that hey <sighs> Jesus Christ is the reason for not just the season. Jesus Christ is the reason why you're still living and breathing. <laughs> He's alive and he just wants a relationship with you. That's all. He just wants you to call upon his name. And there's a curb, so call upon his name. And ask him, please. But is he drawing you? He must draw you first. But how does this happen? One must realize their sin state. Not their sins, their sin state. When you're dirty and you realize that you deserve death of crucifixion. But you're so thankful that Jesus Christ, Yahshua, came in. God himself robed himself in the flesh took upon the form of a servant and came and willingly gave up his life. Nobody took it. He was murdered by one aspect. Another aspect, he freely gave his blood, his life. So it cleanses all sin. So everything you believe, once the new covenant began, then you realize that all power and all authority it's now it's every day and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now they realize that the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, where did it point to? Oh, he said, go and baptize ye in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. First he said, go. <laughs> we don't even go, boy. And then what did he say after that? He said, go. Make me make disciples, you know. Go out. Spread the gospel. Spread the love, man. Just go out and just ask somebody if they need help, you know? How you need help with anything, you know? It's simple as that, you know? Who cares about your busy schedule, man? Drop your daily planner. <laughs> Drop it, okay? You got to get out of yourself, man. And you got to... 
get to the point to where you realize that, wow, you know, I've been so selfish, Lord. I ask you to forgive me my sins, come into my heart, and cleanse me, Lord. And make me a new person. Help me repent. Help me turn from my wickedness. Help me be healed from my depravity. Help me, Lord, realize that, wow, you took upon all the sins of the world, even my own sin. If, even if it was just for me, you died in my place on the cross. You took the penalty of death and sin. And you paid my price. And you took my, my, crimes and you cleansed them with your precious blood okay we can just say that as rhetoric but what does that mean you know what does it mean to be cleansed by his blood what does it mean see so man I fell in love with Jesus Christ in 1993 I was locked up and convicted of murder in first degree on my 21st birthday. So I caught my girlfriend out of jealousy. I followed her to a sports bar. And yeah, she's hanging out and cheating on me on my birthday. And I was so in love with her. I was 21, 22. She was 26. And she was a hottie, boys. My redhead, just every guy was just freaking out over this one. And she fell in love with me. And yes, she was a big time whore, but she was good and faithful. And then all of a sudden, you know, when I realized she gets drunk, it's over. And boy, she's, she's taking off, you know, and being a whore. So don't we do the same thing? <laughs> don't we do that same exact thing, people? Right? We do the same exact thing. We whore around all these idols, all these stuff, all these things of the world. That's what we do. We whore around. And we don't commit ourselves to the faithful one, the one who paid our sin debt. Acts 2.38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Be contrite of your sins. Humble yourselves. Repent. Ask the Lord. Make yourself real. If you're real, I challenge you. Show me. Show me that you're real. Show me something. I'm trying. I, I am ready to blow my brains out. Hit a tree head on. I don't care. Hit a semi head on. Show me you're real. Show me you're real. I need something here, Lord. Until you become desperate, you're going to die in your sins, man. You don't want to go to, it's a fire of lake and fire. I don't care what you want to believe or think. This is the real deal, man. But those only people who reject Christ. Yeah, my battery's going to run down now. But this is the message. Repent. Every one of you, turn from your sins and turn to the one. Jesus Christ, the perfect substitution for our sins. He, he took a part of my sins and he forgave me of every single sin that I've ever done in my whole life. He's my best friend and I asked him to come in my heart and he did. I was buried in his name. Water baptism, fully submerged. Come out of the water of grace speaking in tongues in a heavenly language. And proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord. And it changed my whole life. And I'm, now I'm on a mission. See, everybody's got to experience this experience, this Pentecostal experience, Max 238. It's so real, man. I don't care if you don't believe in it and believe in tongues and all. I'm not talking about snake handling. I'm talking about the real deal here, okay? And anything we got to do to reach you stubborn people. Anything we got to do, any tactic we got to pull, we're going to do it. We're not going to let Satan win. We're in it. We're supposed to conquer. 
We're supposed to not live in fear. We're supposed to give our all to Jesus Christ because he deserves our lives. We we're bought with a price with his precious blood. Thank you, Lord. Repent, y'all, and be baptized in his name, he said. In the name of Jesus Christ, because he is God. He is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Apply the name. Just do it. Obey. That's what he said. Obey him. Yes, it's a commandment. Repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, removal of your sins. Okay, remission. And then what he say? If you do that, then he's going to promise you the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Okay? Not just to you, you selfish... Blur. I like to say that word. Not just unto you, but unto your child. Oh, unto your generations to come. Unto many as are far off, or as many as God shall call. So... Wow, this ain't about just you. Okay? I love y'all so much. This is the unknown preacher. Because Christ is the preacher. It's his ministry. It's not my ministry. It's not what I can do. What I can do. Look at me. <laughs> oh gosh, here's my card. <laughs> here's my ministry. Get out of the way. <laughs> Just get out of the way, please. Before you make a fool of your your whole. Don't make a fool of Jesus Christ, please. Please don't make a fool of Jesus Christ. And I want to close with this. Father, I believe this man has made me realize that this Acts 238 stuff ain't no joke. And he just helped to train with it. But it's real, man. When you come out of the watery grave, man, you'll become alive and you'll have the promise of all these gifts and talents, man, and power, man, from on high. You won't need to do any other drugs in your whole life. Jesus Christ, when he fills you with his spirit, that's the only high you'll ever chase and you ever need. <laughs> yay, yay. DJ Whitey on the moon. <laughs> oh, I had to put that in there for the spot. I don't want that spot. I don't have any. <laughs> I'm doing this on my own. You know, Faith Worship Center in Crossville. Please come visit us. Redemption Church, Pastor Jerry over there, he's he's a good good man of God. But Holy Ghost he can guide you to all truth, you know. You want a real church service? We real have real real movement of God. Just be the first one to get up in the altar with us and hey, you surprise us, man. You show us how to worship. You come and show us how to worship. Faith worship center. One, it's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. I love you. Thank you for listening. And God's got my back. Oh my gosh. Ah!